The real estate sector was for a long time one of the most vibrant sectors in the economy until it significantly slowed down last year, mainly due to high interest rates. While it has started picking pace, experts say that its growth is still undermined by an unfavorable mortgage financing regime that requires borrowers to first make big deposits before accessing credit. Right now, there's a, a number of properties that are empty, that have not been bought in many developments. Why? Because even the potential buyers who have, say, the 10% cannot purchase because maybe the bank wants 20% or 30% deposit. The spiral effect of this state of affairs has been huge and is threatening to worsen the already existing housing deficit, currently estimated at 550,000 nationally and over 100,000 in Kampala. And this has created a confusion where you one time, on one hand you have a deficit, on the other side you have houses which are not moving. Now what happens to an investor? He says, look, let me just keep quiet, let me slow down. Now our deficit will continue increasing and increasing until when either the government comes up with new policies, parliament decides new mortgage uh, rates. In order for the sector to fully get back on its feet, it's going to require a revision of policy as well as involvement of all relevant stakeholders. It's for this matter that a real estate conference has been organized in the country. And that's where you interact with the central bank, you interact with the Bureau of Statistics to make research, make what we call property price index. Those are the soft things around the industry that make the whole industry more attractive and more you know, fluid in order to ensure good investment opportunities. For the real estate sector in Uganda to grow and compete with players in fairly developed markets like Kenya, supportive policies and financing regimes, especially affordable long-term financing, have to be streamlined first. Ingrid Nantege, NTV Business.